Researchers at Michigan State University are using thermally treated biomass products as replacements for coal at the Simon Power Plant. What's interesting and unique about this is that there were no modifications needed in the plant to burn this material. And so it's a direct drop-in replacement for coal. In the lab, biosystems and agricultural engineering students convert kilogram quantities of raw biomass wood chips into torrified biomass. We raise the temperature of biomass from room temperature to 200 to 400 degrees Celsius uh, with the goal of partially charring that material. And so we add heat without oxygen and essentially char the material to a form that's um, more akin to coal. It's really great to be in the lab. You learn a lot more. You know, you can look over the process so many times and understand what's happening, but to really grasp it and to see, you know, the before and after and what goes into the whole process, being in the lab really does that for you. So by offsetting these, we can hammer them out at the end to release our briquette. It's important to train the next generation's workforce, uh, the next generation of engineers in a process like this because they're more than likely going to be the engineers who run the small-scale torrefaction facilities located in the communities where the agricultural sources or silvicultural sources of biomass exist. We're going to need energy in the future, so you know, finding another energy source is very important. And also, just at Michigan State specifically, we have such a large research-based university. You know, we're doing small-scale work here, but our power plant is running, you, you know, this torrified biomass in their power plant. So you can really see, you know, small-scale go up to large-scale, and it's really cool to see that all in one place. And you can get that here at Michigan State.